find the exact value. So we're going to be doing the inverse functions and I just wrote on a separate sheet of paper the domain and range of each inverse. I just wrote this on a separate sheet of paper so that um, I could look back at it. But here I wrote down the three that we're going to be doing. And so we're going to start with the inverse sine of negative one half. So um, we know that the domain of this is negative one to one. So negative one half is between the two. And the range, so we know that this is going to work. So now we're going to check the range of it. So we know that that is between pi over negative pi over two and pi over two. And since this is negative, it's going to be in the fourth quadrant. Sine is negative one half at eleven pi over six. But because that's past pi over 2, we are just going to take what it is in quadrant 1 and put a negative side in front of it. So sine is positive 1 half at pi over 6. So in the fourth quadrant, that would be equivalent to negative pi over 6. So B is the cosine, the inverse cosine of negative square root of 3 over 2. So, cosine, we know that the domain, the inverse cosine's domain is between negative 1 and 1, and um, that's under 1. That is between negative 1 and 1. So now for check where it'll be, we know it is between, the range is between 0 and pi, and we have a negative. So cosine is negative in quadrant 2, so, and cosine is also um, square root of 3 over 2 at 5 pi over 6. So the answer would be 5 pi over 6 and that is between 0 and pi so that checks. And for the last one it's the inverse tangent of the square root of 3. So the domain of inverse tangent is all real numbers, so that'll work. And the range is between the range is between pi over two and negative pi over two. And we'll just put those there because it's um, it can be those. And that is positive, so we know that it is going to be in the first quadrant. So um, tangent is sine over cosine. So sine is square root of 3 over 2 at pi over 3, and cosine at pi over 3 is 1 half, so the square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half is pi over 3. So I'll just show that really quick. The square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. The 2's cancel out and you get the square root of 3. So at pi over 3, 